Hi, in this video of the complete uh, Cucumber course uh, with Java, I'm going to show you how to use tags in Cucumber. Coming up. Hey, thanks for being here. I'm Nilton Santos and I am an Oracle, a certified Java developer with over 20 years of experience and I am the founder of craftofprogramming.com. The craftofprogramming.com is an educational website focused on teaching general computer science topics, programming languages and software tools. If this is the first time that you are here, then please subscribe, like and hit that notification bell so that you are informed every time I publish regular content. Also, leave a comment below and share this video with friends. Let's get started with today's lesson. OK, so what is the purpose of tags? Tags is basically a way um, or a feature in Cucumber to organize your features and scenarios. So they can be used to basically execute a subset of scenarios or, um, you know, when I introduced the concept of hooks, um, you can use, uh, you know, basically conditional hooks with tags. Um, so where can you apply tags? So basically tags um, are, you know, in this basic, let's start here. So this is basically a tag you do at uh, and then you put the name of a tag. So tags, by the way, are case sensitive. So watch out that. Um, and, um, you know, you can create as many tags as you want. And they basically are separated by a space. Now, where can you apply tags? So you can apply tags at a feature, as you see here. So that means that these three tags are going to be applied to the entire feature, including the scenarios. You can apply a tag, as you see here, at a scenario. You cannot apply a tag at a background or within a step. Uh, so, and before I forget, uh, you know, tags are inherited. So what, the, what does that mean? It means that scenarios inherit tags from the uh, containing feature. So, for example, if you try to um, specify a tag here at the background level, and um, you try to run this uh, this feature, then you know it's going to fail because it's not allowed. Okay, you can't add a tag. Fail to pass resource. You know, at file. Okay, and um, you know, Cucumber is basically telling that um, you know it's expecting one of these, but you know got a tag there so that's not valid okay and also you can't add tags you know at a step as well that's also not allowed okay so again let's just run this to illustrate you know that that's also not valid okay so you can't add tags at steps even when then and background you can't so tags are only allowed at again at the feature level at scenario level, at um, uh, scenario outline level, as you see here, and at the examples, okay? That's where you put the tags. So I mentioned that tags are inherited by uh, scenarios. So for example, this scenario here has its own tag read, but it's part of a feature which has three tags applied. So this scenario will have four tags actually because it's inherited three all basic and smoke from the containing feature and its own read. Um, so for example, uh, let's run this uh, you know, JUnit uh, runner. And basically what I'm doing is I am uh, restricting this to just, um, you know, this um, scenario that matched this regex search a book with its title okay which is this guy here okay so let's uh, run it okay then as you see only that scenario search a book given its title was executed and notice that this scenario has four 
um, tax. Okay. So what can you do with tax? As I said in the beginning, tax are useful to, um, you know, basically organize the tests. So you can create tags for slow tests. You can create tags for smoke smoke tests, you can create tags for um, bug fix features, um, you know, the sky is the limit. You can organize tags by features, you know, um, software features, right? So what I did here was, you know, I basically tagged all of our um, feature files with all, right? So basically, uh, you know, all our feature files have the all tag. Well, <laughs> almost all. This guy almost missed it here. Okay. So entire feature have that. In addition to that, I've created the concept of the smoke. So smoke is basically, um, uh, I'm tagging features with smoke that actually are testing the functionality of a library service. Okay. So this would include basic uh, queries, you know, like the ones we're doing here, search a book given its title, search for the most popular topic in my library. Uh, this is what I would consider, you know, an actual, uh, you know, smoke test of our library service. Um, you know, data table and doc strings are useful because I'm actually inserting uh, books onto a library service by exercising different methods. And, um, you know, this is also another query. Okay. Now these two here, I don't consider them smoke because it's, I just created those two, um, you know, uh, feature files to demonstrate specific features of Cucumber rather than a feature file to basically test the library service. Okay. So, um, there are other tags, but for now let's take it, you know, baby steps. Um, so let's remove this name. So basically, um, this um, runner, we covered in the previous lesson of how to execute Cucumber features, but very quickly, I am using the pretty plugin to have a nicely formatted output. And I am basically running all the um, uh, features within uh, you know, our package, okay? So I uh, did mention that the tags are, you know, case, sensitive right so notice that uh, we're using here you know capital uh, smoke so for example if i do smoke you know obviously it's not going to match and i run then notice that not one single you know uh, tag matched okay so nothing happened right so watch out tags are case sensitive so now with this then i'm going to run all my smoke tests right or regression tests, if you will. Okay. So recall that um, we have smoke tests. I mean, if you don't believe me, I can just search for smoke. Okay. And you see that that's basically uh, the um, example book with queries. Uh, let's restrict these two features. Star dot feature. <coughs> okay. So notice that um, I have here the um, example with step arguments, example with basic book queries, and example with scenario outline are the only three uh, features that have the tag applied at the beginning. So all of the um, scenarios within that feature will run. Okay. So that's what you see here with search um, example basic uh, book queries, which is this guy here. And an example with basic scenario outline, which is this guy here. An example with data table and doc string step argument, which is this one here, right? And obviously within it, all of the uh, scenarios ran, okay? So that's basically that. Now, where the tags, <coughs> you know, become more interesting is you can actually build a Boolean expression with tags. And that's where things get a little bit more interesting. So you have the and, or, and not Boolean operators to create, you know, and parentheses as well, as I will show you in the last example, to create, you know, very rich and powerful, um, you know, Boolean uh, tag expressions. So if you use the and operator, okay, uh, then what it means is that um, only scenarios 
or features, whatever the tag is applied, that have both basic and smoke will be uh, executed. Whereas if you use the or boolean operator, then you know it's either or scenarios that have the read or scenarios that have the update um, or both obviously will run. So let's look at basic and smoke. So notice that this guy here, basic book queries, has the basic and the smoke, okay? And because it's applied at the feature, and because the scenarios inherit the, you know, the feature tags, then both of these scenarios will match the uh, this tag, okay? But these here are not going to match. Why? Because they have the smoke, right? And they have the, um, and that's it. They don't have the basic, okay? So again, the only ones that have the basic and the smoke are these, and these are the only ones. This is the only two scenarios that are going to run, okay? And as you see, example basic book queries, right? Search a book even title and search for the most popular to topic in the library. Only those two ran, all right? Okay, so let's play with the uh, read or update. So as I mentioned, basic and smoke applies to scenarios or features that have both basic and smoke tags read or update as you could ex as you would uh, as you expect is scenarios or features that have um when i say scenarios i mean also scenarios outlines and examples that have either read or update or both right so obviously um read will be matched by these two okay so these two scenarios will be included in this tag this guy here will also be included, okay? Because they have actually both, all right? And this guy here, scenario outline, doesn't actually have not the read or update, so it's gonna be excluded. And these two also, as you see, don't have, don't have it. So if I run it, then, you know, these five scenarios will uh, run. Okay, these two from the first feature and these three from that. Okay, and lastly, perhaps, you know, the most and, and you know, more interesting example is where you actually, I'm actually building, you know, a sort of more complex um, Boolean expression, tag Boolean expression with all of the, the four operators, the uh, and, the or, the not, and the parentheses, right? So basically what I'm saying here is run all the smoke tests, right? that um, you know don't have the update right or the ones that have the built-in parameters and the alternative optional tags okay so basically what i'm doing here is out of the smoke i'm excluding the ones that have update okay so which are those two guys those three guys here right update update and update okay so obviously, this is just an example to show you that I'm putting the, um, that you can add a tag on the, uh, you know, scenario. But because these values are the same, then clearly, right, it will be equivalent to just grab this, stick it in there at the feature file, right, and just remove it from here, right? It's exactly the same thing, okay, because the values are the same. Um, so yeah, so basically that's uh, this, right? All the smoke tests, remember, example with basic book queries, example step arguments, and example scenario outline are the smoke tests because again, they are the only ones that are actually exercising, you know, or testing the library service. And of these, what I'm doing here is I want to run all my smokes, excluding the uh, updates, so not updates, which is gonna exclude these guys. And, um, and I want to include the built-in parameters, which is this guy here, as well as the alternative optional, okay? So let's run this. Okay, so everything ran. Let's see what, um, what we got. So this one matched because, again, um, it is a smoke, okay? And not an update, so this guy matched. Okay, and this is the, this one that has those two scenarios. If you expand, you'll see that's the two scenarios, okay? This guy here match because it matched the built-in parameters, okay? This guy here matched because it's got the smoke and it doesn't have update. And this guy here matched because he has alternative optional, okay? 
So I hope that this um, lesson gave you a flavor of the um, you know feature of tags and in particular you know how powerful uh, the uh, boolean expression with tags can be to organize your uh, suite of cucumber tests. Thanks for watching. Ciao ciao.